dead. Forty years ago, at the height of the Cold War, a group of military scientists created Formula X. Its purpose, to turn any individual into an unnaturally strong super soldier. The project failed. Today, the bunker that was home to these mysterious experiments and the last remaining samples of Formula X lies sealed and hidden. Its location, unknown. Heaven forbid anyone should ever open that bunker and learn of the secrets contained within. Heaven forbid anyone should discover Operation Overkill. How oh, will you fucking do this to me? Hold still, please. This is a very delicate procedure. You can't! Please! No! So how are we gonna do this? I figured we'd kill every motherfucker who stands in our way. For a change. Works so far, I guess. You ready? Born ready. is doing nothing for my elevator phobia. Oh, <laughs> 
just crashed. Oh man, where are the goddamn stairs in this place? I know, in the event of a fire, our chance of effecting a rapid escape is pretty limited. Oh come on man, will you shut the fuck up? I think this elevator has structural issues. Not again! Jump! Jump! That was a close call. Psychotic! <laughs> Get off on this sick shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
my life. Collateral damage, Wash. Ten of them. One of him. Don't feel too bad. You can be one cold motherfucker at times, you know that? Why didn't we come in here? Shut up and figure a way out of this! The shaft. Go. Now. <laughs> that motherfucker nearly had me! Shit! You ever feel like dialing down the cursing, Wash? Fuck that, motherfucker! Is packing WMD. The words must be 30 years old. They can't still be alive. Find the trip. So, where's Varla? She's right here, boys. Varla? Are you okay? Better than okay. I've never felt so turned on in my life. Say what? Don't worry, detective. Everybody will have their chance to have a go. Nobody's having a go with anybody. Stay behind me, Varla. Grab your gun, not your dick. Clement! Did I call for you? Go to your room. Can't you just one time in your life show your son a little fucking gratitude? And try to act your age. Don't you ever talk to your mother like that. Sorry, mommy. That's better. Oh my fucking- What have you done? I should think that's pretty self-explanatory. 
Your friend is in that jar over there. She's alive, too. What's left of her? Then your stock just fucking crashed! I love you, Mom. Mom? I don't understand. The formula should have worked. Say night night to mommy, asshole. No! And I think it's past your fucking bedtime, young man. Mommy! Fuck! I, I guess this is it. It's certainly been an adventure. You want to do the honors? Farla, this is for you. Washington, you okay? There's only so much of this shit a brother can take. Let's get out of here. Do you even know where the fuck you're going? Quick, in here. Why the fuck do you want to go in there? Because, Detective Washington, if you were paying attention, you might have noticed that big sign marked Armory. And why would we want to go into... Holy shit! Motherfucking miniguns! See? Now a brother can fuck up some serious shit with one of these babies. Do you even know how to use one? What's to know? You just point and fire and don't stop firing until every single motherfucker in the room is dead. Just make sure you don't overheat it. Well, this sure as shit don't look like no exit to me. She's found us. No shit! Back up! I don't want no motherfucking hug from that freaky motherfucker! We seriously compromised their structural integrity. We what? Just keep shooting! Look out! Your girlfriend's trying to French you! That's not my girlfriend! Just shoot, motherfucker! Shooting the pillars. We're getting closer. Hey, lady, you know what's considered polite to ask before you try sticking your tongue down a brother's throat? Oh, Farla. What have they done to your beautiful body? Giving her a serious case of sad. That might be your thing, but this brother prefers them. Show some respect. She's right here. You mean in that motherfucking jaw? She can't hear shit right now. How we survived that, I don't know. Hey, if we hadn't found these miniguns just lying around, we'd be fucking dead for sure. I'm just glad Barla got the justice she deserved. So? What do you plan to do with your life now, Isaac? Well, I figured as soon as I got home, I'd go pay my respects to my old man. And then? And then Washington's going to fucking Vegas, baby! She's still fucking alive, ain't she? Appears that way. You got anything clever to say? I'm at somewhat of a loss. Then let's just make this look fucking cool. is one angry bitch. Oh, man! 
comes another bundle of joy. Alone. I can't go on in a world without my mommy. In a world that would never accept him. You're fucking right there. A cornered animal. I advise you, don't. This is a dead man switch. With nothing to live for. Kill me, and the self-destruct for the lab beneath us goes off. This whole prison will be leveled. Then what do you want? Sought only redemption. I want to undo all the wrongs I have done. I want to return to the womb. Please, just this one last thing. You fucking handle this freak show. I need to sit down. When revenge seemed the only option. You've broken a hundred laws. You're responsible for the deaths of countless thousands. You threatened the safety of every man, woman, and child on this planet. And you put our friend's brain in a jar! I have a lot to atone for. By returning to the womb? That's right. A final noble act. Give me that. Thank you. Was all that was needed. Don't fucking thank him! Soon as we're in a helicopter out of here, I'm chucking that thing out the fucking window. Then I can die happy. Goodbye, boys. Did you not find this all slightly ironic? I? Fucking ironic? Yeah, ironic. You know, when something occurs after you... I know what ironic means, motherfucker. You see, you did it again. Throughout this whole episode, you've been motherfucking everything. That's my thing. That's how I fucking speak. Yeah, but there we were, face to face with the real motherfucker. Huh? Clement more than likely fucked his mother. And not once, not once did you call him motherfucker when indeed he was, most probably a real motherfucker. So what does that tell you? I don't fucking know. It means you don't fucking mean what you fucking say. It's all shit. Say what, motherfucker? See, you're doing it fucking again. You like me. Deep down through all your fuckisms, you really like me. I'm the fucking nearest fucking thing you've ever had to a fucking friend. Don't fucking do this to me, man. Wrong fucking place, wrong... Go on, go on, say it. Say the fuck what? Say you like me. Get the fuck out of my space. Never repeat fucking talk of that shit again. Or what? I don't fucking know what. That's fucking what. Okay, man, okay. We made progress here. You did good. When we're back home, I am going to get myself a car, play my country music, and if you want to ride back to where the fuck ever you live, you are motherfucking welcome. Fuck you. So that's a yes then. Can I drive? Yeah, fuck you. Washington is washing off on you. Bottle guns, if you can hear me, I'd like you to know I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Now that just ain't right. I think if we've learned anything from today, it's that love ain't always right. Hey, I love my old man. You saying that ain't right? Well... And your fiancé saying that jaw there loved her brother. I was just making an observation. Frankly, Casanova, I'd be more worried about reading the past 12 hours as a damning fucking indictment of contemporary feminism. Beg pardon? I just think two dick-wielding cop cliches taking down a hundred-foot 
birth and mother is a statement, Family Limited, in its interpretation. I'm not sure you can read too much into that. Not to mention, the strongest female role model in this whole affair ain't much more than a gherkin in a pickle jar. Washington. They had met as adversaries. What the fuck is it? They had fought as allies. I love you, man. Oh, shut the fuck up. But to their enemies. And you? One-way ticket to motherfucking Vegas, baby. They were righteous motherfuckers.